up, what's up? It's your boy, Fuji motherfucking Mac on that ass, bitch. Hey, uh, I have some shit that I want to talk about. And it's motherfucking West Pike Run Township in Washington County, Pennsylvania. Your road supervisor fucking sucks. Okay, here it is. Uh, on January the 2nd, not the 1st, but the 2nd. And the roads are fucking lightly powdered snow and we can't even get a fucking uh, person to come out here and scrape the damn roads it's not even that bad but it's the fact that uh, if, if it if it's shit starts getting compressed it turns into ice so uh, I mean it would be nice that if someone came out here and uh, you know at least salted the fucking roads you fucking piece of shit. You know, I thought about running for office to, to take over this position so that my, so that I know that the roads were going to be clean around my house. But uh, I decided that, you know, maybe this uh, Shemansky or uh, whoever the hell else was running for this, this position, uh, I figured it, okay, we'll let the, the white man go ahead and take care of the fucking roads. But now I'm kind of pissed off because... He does not come up on fucking Crescent Heights for nothing. I mean, and it was like that whenever they had Haidu in office too. Now, okay, I'm dropping a couple names, but I'm I'm not using first names because I don't want to fucking pinpoint these people. Um, because well, I, yeah, okay. Anyways, I'm only using a last name. Um, but they are they are political people, so it's okay to talk. You know, to be disgruntled with some of the stuff that they're doing. Um, obviously, the roads aren't getting clean. Okay, I finally get onto a road that's covered by um, by PennDOT. And this, these, these roads, I can hear the ice hitting my, my, my wheels and shit like that. So, I know that I'm safe to, to drive at a, a decent rate of speed. But, come on now. Why don't you ice or salt the, uh, salt the damn roads? Because it's, it's ridiculous. Um need to find us a good road supervisor so that we can get this shit taken care of because I mean I, I'm really it, it, if you look at some of my Facebook photos you'll see how the roads look last year too where they don't care about certain areas um, but certain other areas they spend uh, more time with to take care of the roads now okay yeah granted people on the hill might not have a lot of money so fuck them right okay understood but then there are some people up there that that do have money so why don't you fucking do your fucking job it's a job you're not fucking it's not to cater to people so they'll fucking vote for you it's to fucking do your fucking job people i mean that's all it takes you don't gotta fucking you're not kissing nobody's ass to get this position uh, well i guess if you're in a political sector yeah i guess you would be kissing people's ass so they'll vote for you you fucking pieces of shit i don't know i'm fucking pissed off right now because of these roads and i'm trying to make it to bethel park right now so that i get you know go on this hot date and now i'm running late because these fucking roads suck oh well i guess i'll get there when i get there um i'm already late so if she's upset at me, then I guess she'll get over it eventually, right? Uh, let's see, what else? I had some other shit on my mind, but uh, I really can't think of it right now. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, I got something else. I got something else I wanted to speak about. All right. Now, how do you know when your relationship isn't going to work out? That's a question that you need to ask. All right, because I uh, started, you know, I, I mean, I figure that um, some things to look for are keynotes into making sure you don't pick the wrong fucking person, right? If you first start dating a person, and after a week, you call their phone, and it says, the, cr the cricket subscriber you are trying to reach is temporarily disconnected. That's not a bitch you want to talk to, okay? Why is this, you ask? Well, for one, let's just... Well, I'm not even going to go into that. that that's just... 
that's just one thing to, to, to think about. And it's not even not even cricket. It doesn't matter if it's cricket. What if it's if it's fucking Verizon? If it's fucking Sprint? If it's fucking any of those? If after the first week they're getting their shit cut off, obviously you know they're not responsible. Um, so that's probably not the person you want to. Granted, they might be as responsible as hell, but if you're in your your beginning stages and and it's and it sounds like they're irresponsible, then probably they're irresponsible. Uh, so those are the ones you want to try to avoid. Not saying that that it's happened, you know. I mean, granted, my phone's been shut off every once in a while, but it's it's only because I refuse to pay them because of uh, a, uh, a you know an issue with the billing because they probably charged me some shit that I didn't want to pay, and you know it happens. Just like my student loans, a lot of people don't like to pay those fucking things. I have yet to send. Well, no, I, I take that back. I did send them a check. Huh. That's their first payment for me. Uh, <laughs> um, what else is going on? Yeah. So, anyways, all right. Now, a lot of motherfuckers got something to say about me because I live at my I live with my parents. All right. Granted. I have reason to live with my fucking parents, okay? It's not that I can't go out there and live on my own. I can go out there and live on my own all I want. I just choose not to. Why? Because I'm very Asian, okay? I'm, I am I stick to my Asian tr- traditions. And an Asian tradition is that, you know, your family is close-knit. You stay together. You stick together through thick and thin. So when it comes time to being around my family, I love being around my family. I spend time with my family. Okay, so for all you who got something to fucking say about me living at home, you know what? Go fuck yourself because I'm not leaving my house until I find the right person anyway. So you can suck my dick and lick my ass. So if you got something else to say about that, hey, go fuck yourself. Um, So yeah, I live with my parents. Uh huh. I, I, I do have a decent job. Well, actually, I have two jobs um as most of you don't know i'm i won't disclose those jobs because uh i don't know the policy as far as being able to post shit on fucking youtube and facebook about uh bottom and whatnot so until i find out the laws behind that and what kind of agreements i'm signing myself up for then i won't talk about it But I'm sure if you read some of my Facebook posts, you will see what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, back to this. Um, so, yeah, I have a, I have two jobs. Um, I drive a BMW. Um, let's see. That should be enough right there, you know. Uh, pay my own insurance. Uh I don't have no fucking kids either, so so that's not a, a, a fucking task that I have to fucking worry about for all you insecure motherfuckers who don't know how to keep your fucking thing in your pants, okay? I mean, or at least you're, you're out there, uh, at least I'm responsible and not fucking doing things I shouldn't, okay, I take that back. Maybe I'm not responsible, but whenever it comes to that, because sometimes I just don't give a fuck, okay? Um, but, but again, we're all, I'm talking about some serious shit here because, you know, I get people who have kids who's trying to tell me about my life when they need to fucking start worrying about their own fucking life. They got a kid. I don't have a kid. You know what? I'm, you know, I make sure my bills are paid. Uh, you know, I I make sure everything's going right for me and, and by living with my parents, I'm saving up even more money. So I probably got more money than half these motherfuckers. And, you know, I'm not on welfare. I've never been on welfare. I've never been on well, workman's compensation, unemployment, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I've never done that shit. See, because I know how to manage my shit. And if you got a problem with me fucking gambling, oh fucking well. Why do you talk about, oh, I need to quit gambling because I'm spending all my money. And yeah, okay, a couple times I will spend my whole paycheck and get broke. 
you know, because sometimes that's the thing at the casino. Go big or go home, right? And if you sometimes when you go big, you go home early. So it's the risk you take, and that's the that's the thing about gambling. You take chances to to gain better opportunities. Like the other night, I fucking I played a fucking this game called I played blackjack, obviously, but there was this a bonus bet called in between. You know, I was playing five dollars uh, in the in between. Uh, found out that it wasn't working too well, so I increased my fucking bet to thirty dollars. Thirty dollars uh, for the in between, and then thirty dollars for the hand itself. So it was sixty dollars being played every fucking hand. All right, and then I fucking hit the fucking uh, fucking straight, which was uh, five, six, seven. On the in between, which paid uh, what was it, twenty to one? So there you go. I made that. I made some of that back. All right. And then I fucking hit on the motherfucking triple match, which was an eight, eight, and then a dealer turned over an eight. So then I got thirty to one on that. Thirty to one on fucking thirty dollars is nine hundred dollars for you non-math motherfuckers. Okay. So now, now you're saying that my game, that what I'm doing is wrong. Then fucking, I mean, hey. If you learn how to play the fucking game and you can win, then fucking get the fuck, you know, you have nothing to fucking say. But if you don't know how to play, then shut your fucking mouth, please. Yeah, I gamble. I like gambling. Gambling is fun. It keeps me from going out here selling drugs. It keeps me from going out here, you know, shooting up drugs or smoking dope or whatever the hell y'all motherfuckers want to do. All y'all motherfuckers that got money and y'all go and do stupid shit with it. And then there's us who fucking don't do shit, you know, we take our money and take it to the casino. So, would you rather have a dope addict or a fucking gambling addict? I mean, granted, they're both kind of bad, but yet, I don't see, I don't see I'm harming anyone else but myself whenever I'm doing that. At least when you do, when you're all fucking dope, you don't know what the fuck you're gonna fucking do. So, I'm not stealing from motherfuckers. I got two jobs, so I'm working this shit. You know, I'm doing, I'm making paper just like anyone else out there, motherfucker. So. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Y'all can kiss my ass for all I care. Anyways, it's your boy, Fuji motherfucking Mac. Get off my dick, bitch, and I'm out.